husband and wife team hoping to talk their way into a deal. Hello Sharks, my name's Luke. My name's Vanessa and today we are seeking a $300,000 investment for 15% share of our product, TalkSafe. TalkSafe is a safety switch designed to bolt onto hydraulic torque tools. Hydraulic torque tools are used in a wide variety of industries, uh, mining, construction, oil and gas. They're basically used to tighten up any large nut or bolt that's too tight to be done up with ordinary hand tools. A rattle gun, mate, basically, is it? Or... Yeah, it's like hydraulic driven. Yeah. Typically, two people use hydraulic torque tools, and that's where hand crush injuries can happen. 38% of workplace injuries are hand related, so looking at ways to make it safer. And I want to see this made an industry standard. Where are you guys from? Uh, Perth. Oh, Western Australia, great, awesome. So, I'll show you. Yeah, great. So this gold section is a hydraulic torque wrench, and the silver section is torque safe. I've invented a silver bit on top. So Luke, just make it easy for me, why did you come up with this product? I um, basically had one of my workmates put his hand crushed by one. I work as a mechanic in the mining industry and over the last 10 years there's been quite a large amount of hand crush injuries with this type of tooling. The problem with hand crush injuries, if you're out on a remote mine site, there's no medical attention apart from the EMO on site. So they have to get a flying doctor in. Yeah. You have to get emergency flown out. There's huge medical bills, downtime, surgery. It can be quite expensive and a slow process for rehabilitation. How do you get your hand crushed by one? Steve, go and show us. All right, need, need a hand? <laughs> hand yeah. crushing. We do have some tomatoes to do a demonstration on what can happen to your hand. So what happens is it typically uses two people to use a tool. So one person will be holding this tool, placing it on bolts, and then you're relying on a, a second person to operate the pump. Human error can happen. So I might have my hands on this tool, go to put it on a bolt, stumble, and they press the button. So if your hand's anywhere on this tool when it accidentally gets turned on, it just crushes your hands. Ouch. So I'll put a tomato in there. Stay back, Steve. So if, if I hold the lever in, Work. <laughs> That's what happens. So you control when the force comes on? Yeah. You are totally in control of events? Yeah, you gain gotcha. control over the tool. Okay. It's a safety switch. Good stuff. So right now, that little piece that you put in onto the tool doesn't exist? No, this is the only safety valve in the world. But there's nothing really equivalent? Equipment. Nothing at all. Okay. Where are your patents registered? Patent pending in Australia and international. And the name TalkSafe has been trademarked. Who's your customer? Mining industry, oil and gas, construction, anywhere in the world that you do up a large nut or bolt. Then could you explain where you've got your $2 million valuation, please? We've got a distribution contract in place, which is set for 800 units a year. Cool. Basically, if we achieve 800 units a year with the profit margins based on a 12-month turnover, basically the valuation. So you have a distribution agreement for 800 units a year. So can you go through the economics of cost and profit and et cetera? Costs around five and five and a half thousand dollars wholesale. And the cost to make? Around three thousand dollars. And that'll come down if you get serious. On about... large production, it's got potential to come down. There's about 50% profit margin. Do you make them in Australia, mate? Australia, mate. At the moment, we've got it set up through the distributor and they're going to approach companies. They've already got contacts with 15 mining companies already they do business with. So they're going to approach all of those. I'm sitting here, I'm going, the business model sounds fantastic, but I don't know where I can help you. So I think there's a better partner for you in these chairs than me, but only for that reason. I think you've done a great job and, and hopefully it takes off so you can save a lot of injuries. But for me, for this one, I'm out. Well done. Lots of people think about ideas, but they don't actually do anything about it. You know, people who are driven by passion change the world, and that's what you're doing. I'm not the right investor for you. I'm out.
Luke and Vanessa, I, I have no doubt you've got the application where it's going to be used and the addressable market covered. You've got relationships and contacts. You've already got mining companies helping you. Mm. I'm in. 300k for 30%. 30% of your company, so it's double the equity that you ask for. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how I'm feeling. Well done, I mean, I think we all see the utility in this. Our oh, H&S is massive. Oh, no one deserves to be injured or, or you know, worse at work. So this is really good. So I'm just gonna keep thinking and I'm wondering what Andy's up to, actually. I've got a lot of faith in your product. I think there's a market. And I love your passion and intention. No disrespect, you don't have a track record in running a business like this, and it's a complicated business. Inventing a product, solving a problem is one thing, making money out of it is another. What I'm struggling with is, frankly, should you be the people to run the business? Or should you be the people to make sure the product's integrity is right and make money out of it as an inventor as you should? I'm asking who should control the company. Luke Gosden has invented a device to reduce hand crush injuries on mining and construction sites. Luke and his wife Vanessa want $300,000 for 15% of their business. Glenn has made an offer, but Andrew has doubts. Frankly, should you be the people to run the business? Or should you be the people to make sure the product's integrity is right and make money out of it as an inventor, as you should? Would you sell 60% of your company and leave yourself with 40% so you're not really controlling the company? Look, I want to see it made an injury standard. I want it to reduce injuries, and I believe in what we're doing. If we get the right help behind us, if that's what it took, I would be prepared. That's about as cool an answer we've ever had. He's had some pretty interesting offers and he's pretty cool up there. And he's just flunked out on the floor. How about we buy 6% of your company from you and you just have a bat at an cool. eyelid, mate. <laughs> you know? I think he's cool hand, Luke. <laughs> Luke and Vanessa, there's a lot of talk going on without a lot of offers coming up. Yeah. I, I believe in you. Simple yeah. as that. You only half believe in him. You gave him a half discount, mate. The reality is, I'm happy with what you've told us. I'm backing you. Thank you. OK. So if you get bored with them procrastinating, just, just say yes to them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer. 450000 for 50%. Sounds like a good deal. And I'll partner with Stephen Glenn to get this off the ground. I help you with the States and these two guys help you in Australia because you'll need some domestic help, you need US help. There's quite a lot of work to be done here. I'll try with Andy on that one. I'm okay with it. So you can do 450,000 for 50% with the three of us or you can do 300,000 for 30% with Glenn on his own. This is a very rare situation where we have deals at this scale on Shark Tank. You're in a very unique and special position, but you've got to make the call. Would you be interested in 50% of 500,000? With the three of you. Negotiating. I think the most important thing is the 50 per cent. All right, mate. I'm in. Yeah, we're prepared to do that. We've got a deal. OK. Good job. Thank you well, so much. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you. Hey, well done, mate. Let's see if we can get this thing out there. Yeah, thank you. Hey, really well done. Good. Oh, sorry. Good job. We don't want too many hands to end up like that tomato. <laughs> Thanks very much. Make those dreams real. <laughs> 
exciting to have three of those guys just to be able to help and mentor us and see where it takes us. And get our product into the global market. Yeah, be passionate. Make our dreams come true.